Okay, on, uh, on this video, what I'm gonna do is demonstrate how to add another airplane to uh, your X-Plane 10 simulator, okay? Um, I just added uh, a DA-20 and an Airbus 320 to the simulator and I flew it a little bit and it worked. So um, this is gonna be a demonstration to help anyone who is looking to do that for themselves. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll demo it for you on how to do that. The first thing you need to do is you need to have a membership at xplane.org. So if you don't have a membership yet there, um, you need to get a uh, membership for um, that website. So xplane.org, uh, here's the URL, okay? So once you have a membership, uh, you log in, and it's x-plane.org. Uh, log in, okay, um, and go ahead to downloads, and then click X-Plane 10 aircraft. And here you'll have the different sections. So we're gonna go to civilian fixed wing light aircraft 1946 and later. So we'll click on that. And then you go ahead and choose the aircraft you want to Add to the simulator. I'm just gonna look around and decide which one to do. Let's go ahead and the next plane that catches my attention, I will use. Turbo Beaver, perfect. So let's pick the Turbo Beaver. So let's go ahead and get that on the simulator. I'm excited because I want to get uh, some flow planes on the simulator. I, I flew a little bit of seaplanes in real life and it was a fun experience. So I definitely want to, I think this will be my first plane with floats on the, uh, on the simulator. So uh, you're going to have a zip file. So you just open it okay, and go to the file and all these files here, you need to drag that in your X plane. 10 folder. So you go to X-Plane 10 and you click aircraft. Okay. You make, uh, basically decide, let's click C planes. Okay. So make a new file, new folder, and we'll call it turbo beaver. Okay. And we'll take the files that we have here and just drag it in like this. Boom. Okay, so I found this in the X-Plane 10 folder. So here is the X-Plane 10 folder. Just go to aircraft and see planes, create a folder, put all the files in the folder, and let's go ahead and uh, run the simulator and see if uh, the plane is, is good to go. So we'll click X-Plane. Pretty excited, now I can start flying floats. So there was the DA, DA-20. So let's go 
here, aircraft. Seaplanes, Turbo Beaver, and let's go and run the simulator, see if it's good to go. Boom, it worked. Error. Pretty cool. Let's just look around here. Oh, this is awesome. So, oh, there's the 3D cockpit look. Looks a little bit better without the 3D look, so we'll get rid of that. Ah! There we go, that looks a little bit better. So there we go. Trolley, Foxtrot, Oscar, Echo, X-Ray. So there we go. Throttles up here, Turbo Beaver. So we'll just, uh, before, let's try taking off and then we'll end the video there. So just quickly take off, see how it. Cool. I hope it's in an amphibious plane. Since if not, my floats are wrecked. So, uh, I think it's 100% seaplanes. I probably should have picked a seaport, but I guess it's still. Yeah, oh, okay, good, there's wheels. So, so there you have it. So this video was how to add more planes to your X-Plane 10 simulator after you, um, I'm going to pause it. So how to, how to get more aircrafts on your X-Plane 10 simulator, um, cause it comes with, doesn't come with all the planes that are, just comes with some planes. If you want to get more, this video shows you how to do it. So just to quickly recap, you need to get a membership at xplane.org and then you click on the downloads button, find the plane you want to uh, download, get the zip file, uh, create a new file in your X-Plane 10 um, folder with the plane that you want to do. So for me, it was a Turbo Beaver under seaplanes. And um, put the files in there and then just run the simulator and that's it. I hope you, uh, hope this, video was helpful and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.